Alright, what's up guys? My name is Patrick and today we're actually going to be installing a cold air intake into my NV Miata. So this intake is by Cobalt. Um, I actually got it as a gift from my brother, so thanks man. Um, I'm going to be installing this. I, I know it's not going to give like any power at all, like one wheel horsepower maybe, but it's going to make it sound a little bit louder and I think it's going to make it sound a little bit more like punchy and, and growly. So. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully it goes smoothly and I'll, uh, I'll show you guys how to do it. Okay, so basically I'm just going to remove everything that I see. Uh, I didn't read the instructions or anything. I'm hoping it's just really simple. So I'm literally just going to remove every part of the intake that I see and uh, hopefully it goes well. <laughs> Alright, so we got uh, the main uh, what is this called? I don't know, component of the intake off. Uh, not exactly sure. Um, throttle body and basically the air intake box. You just need a screwdriver, so pretty simple. Okay, so once you're on the air box side, you're basically going to want to remove the sensors that the air intake actually uses. So it's pretty simple, just unplug those. Make sure you don't really get them dirty at all because these are pretty important. So just take those out, leave them to the side. So once you have these sensors disconnected, uh, they're going to be held in by a little clip right in there. Right in there. So what you want to do, take some needle nose pliers, you're just going to get right in there. Kind of hard to do with one hand. Just get right in there, squeeze those together, and it'll fall right out. Okay, so once you got the main uh, air tube thing down, out, whatever, um, you're basically going to use a combination of 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter to get these two bolts out, or these two nuts out, uh, this out. Uh, there's two relays here that you just need to kind of loosen, take out, and leave them here. Just, just leave them there, they're very important. Um, then there's another one right back there. And that is basically the only thing holding this in, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so next up you're just going to remove the two bolts that you see holding on the mass airflow sensor. And you're just basically going to remove that from the stock intake and you're gonna be using that for the aftermarket cold air intake. Also, you're gonna to have to remove this little uh, kind of air intake sensor uh, from the stock air box, and you're just going to install that right into the new uh, intake tube. Now you're just going to basically put the uh, mass airflow sensor into the cobalt intake tube and yeah just basically finish that up and then the intake is basically assembled. Alright so now you're going to be installing the heat shield. Uh, this is what kind of separates a good air intake from a bad air intake. You really do kind of need the, the heat shield to see any sort of like power gains because basically if you don't have this heat shield you're just pulling in hot air. You don't really want to buy a hot air intake. That's not really what you want to do. All right, and now it's time to basically position the entire air intake tube. Uh, just kind of, you know, take your time with this, get the fitment right. All right, now comes my favorite part, basically sliding the actual air filter on. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so I didn't show it, but basically if you remember the relays that were connected to uh, this guy, there's two of them. Um, basically there, there's no place to put it when you have the actual intake in so what I did was I actually just zip tied them to uh, basically right behind the headlight and yeah that I mean that's gonna work so uh, basically that's that's what I do for that issue and um, after that basically you're kind of done you just have to basically put uh, this breather tube back on which is literally just 
that <laughs> and uh, then connect some sensors up and you're basically good so I'm gonna go ahead and button this up and then I'll uh, get some sound clips for you guys okay so I got it all buttoned up it's all tightened down gonna do a little sound test and uh, maybe before and after um, yeah, fitment was uh, it was decent it wasn't necessarily like great um, and it is it it might even need some cutting because it it does touch the hood and I know that there, you know there's rubber on it so it's not exactly bad for anything but it is touching it and you can actually kind of see like it's, it's a little bit not level <laughs> so I might actually have to do some cutting on the uh, the heat shield but other than that um, yeah it's just a cold air intake for a Miata so I'm just gonna start it up see how it sounds hopefully it's uh, it's a big difference All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Honestly, this sounds awesome. I'm super impressed with it. It's just, it just sounds just better. <laughs> it's it's more, you know, as soon as you put your foot down, there's more noise. It, it, it just kind of honestly makes it feel faster than it actually is. It, it didn't add any, any horsepower or anything. It's, it's a naturally aspirated, car with, with a cold air intake it's not gonna add anything <laughs> but I just think it sounds awesome uh, downshifts sound amazing nice and crisp um, and yeah I, I'm really impressed uh, again I might have to do some cutting but for now I think it's uh it's pretty solid pretty solid successful install so uh, yeah anyway uh, thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you like the video hit the subscribe button uh, I do a lot of work on NB Miatas, and um, hopefully I'll be doing some more soon. But uh, yeah, have a good one, guys. Come.